eight years. Can you believe it? Yeah. No. No, it's like it's flown by, right? Yeah, it was just like you like... were picking your instrument, right? You were switching to horn, horn just like last year. Yeah. yeah. Any memories like you would like to share about band? Um, I really liked uh, the Chicago trip with everyone and our friends. That was really, really fun. Really, I like really that really memory. Fun. Yeah. So, Dad, you know, your daughter is a wonderful musician. Anything you'd like to share with us about her eight years in band? Yeah, my favorite memory is her practicing in her bedroom. Yes. She did that for many hours. Yes, and I remember, like, on those online times, seeing you in your bedroom, and I think I was commenting, like, is that your sister behind you? And you're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> So, yeah. Maya, anything you'd like to share? Puffy lips. <laughs> exactly. So, enjoy tonight. Hopefully, you guys enjoy uh, tonight's uh, events, and uh, ushers will take you to your seats. We have the Hertz family. Josh Hertz, the famous Josh Hertz. How are you doing tonight, Josh? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. I mean, you have definitely taken over like the social media realms for band. Yes, I have. Like you have really reached it to the next level. Thank you. Appreciate it. So uh, any memories you like to share about band over the past eight years, like that really sticks out? It's like, wow, I, this was a great time. Um, yeah, so actually this was a really good year. I would say at Bandcamp we had a lot of fun. Um, there wasn't quite, a, it wasn't quite as constructed, so we kind of messed around a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I mean we had fun in Chicago, and we had fun definitely performing at OSU. That was, that was one of our, our peak. That really was a height. Yeah, we we're really fortunate to be in there. Mom and Dad, anything you'd like to share about Joshua and his work in the past eight years in band? We're very proud of him, how hard he's worked and how well he's done. And um, yeah. Can you believe it's done already? Well, you know, this uh, brings to a close uh, eight years with Mr. Foster. Uh, so 12 years that, that, for our family. 12 years, I know, and I've only been, and I'm finishing up my 15th year, so almost my whole stay. <laughs> but I'll, I will tell you that um, Joshua sometimes will surprise us in the middle of a performance because he'll have a solo that he won't have told us about. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, we're sitting there listening to the band play, and then we look over, and that's our son playing a solo that we didn't know was coming up. Yes, Joshua is always a lot of surprises. <laughs> and most of them are good ones. So good night. To, have a good night tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and you come away with a good win. So, I hope, so. I hope I get a big trophy. A big trophy. <laughs> there will be a big trophy, I'm thinking, in your future. So Joshua Thompson. How's it going, Josh? doing all right how about you Mr. Good. come on over here get over here so we can so you've been doing this for several years how do you feel well i feel i feel great with what i've done over the years yeah any specific memories that stick out that's like yes i love this about band definitely chicago i definitely feel like on that trip everyone had a lot of fun uh -huh. which is what i like to see i like to see everyone having fun yeah. and i could definitely feel that energy on the buses yeah, it was a really great trip. Mom and Dad, anything you'd like to share about his commitment over the past eight years to this organization? Mm, I think it's been wonderful to watch. We both were in the marching band. We both played clarinet, so we were very happy that he followed in our footsteps. Although he would not take my clarinet because he said it had cobwebs on it. <laughs> so, but I think it was really nice to see him um, play the contrabass as well. So That's a real honor. Not many schools have that, and we only give it to like our very, very dedicated students. So we're really proud of you. We hopefully and you enjoy tonight and come away with a big win, all right? Good night, take care, and uh, the ushers will take you to your seats. Hey, it's Garrett Nagungu. Good to see you, Garrett. How are you doing? Come on over here. So it's been a, been a crazy ride this year. Yes, definitely. definitely. I mean, you were supposed to be like a star field commander. How do you feel about how that marching band season went? I mean, I was a little bummed, but what can I do, really? I got to do what I wanted to do at least once, so that's yeah. all I can say. You're always super positive. That's always one of the very nice things about you. Thank you. So, any memories about being eight years? Um, pretty much every Friday night after school for a marching band. Yeah. When we were at school doing things we probably shouldn't be doing, but it was fun nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. 
I may or may not know any of those things, no, just on the record. So anything you'd like to share about Garrett's accomplishments over the past eight years? He's done an outstanding job, given the challenge that he's faced. I mean, he's done a terrific job. I couldn't be any more proud. He's and we feel that way, too. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so we hope that you enjoy tonight's uh, show and the assembly. I think it's going to be something super unique. And the ushers will take you guys to your seats. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank yep. You. Nice all right, our next group of people. It's Megan, Megan Garens. How are you doing? Did you say my name wrong? Uh, no, I've said her name wrong for the past eight years. How are you supposed to say it? Garens. I knew that. I just say it with a Northeast Ohio accent. Right. Yeah. So besides me saying your name wrong for the past eight years, like a winner. Oh. What are some other memories that you have that are good memories? Oh boy, uh, my freshman year tenor section, it went up in flames, but it's like probably the reason I'm still in band. So that's probably good. Well, you know, through tragedy comes rebirth, like the Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, so you guys have anything to share about Megan and her accomplishments over the past several years? Um, um, I would say that I'm proud of her, but I expect nothing more from this woman. True. She is a very, very amazing person. So we're lucky to have her. Yes. <laughs> so have a good night. Hopefully you enjoy this evening. So the ushers will take you to your seats. It is Ruby Shea. How are you doing, Ruby? Good. good. Uh, How are you feeling tonight? Uh, good so far. I just got my vaccine, so I don't know if that's going to last. Mmm, here we go. Vaccine number two. Yep. Good, good. So any memories you'd like to share about being in band for the past eight years? Uh, definitely when the windows blew like all the way across the field and also when the tarps like two seconds before our performance at States just like flipped all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's never a boring moment when you're dealing with props, right? I'm very happy that though, when you look at Google Earth at Copley High School, you can still see those windows from outer space. Pretty awesome. Mom and dad, anything you'd like to share about Ruby's accomplishment over the past eight years in band? I just, I didn't know we were gonna be videotaped, so <laughs> I didn't prepare anything here. No, I just, I'm kind of sad that it's over, especially she's my last one through. So this is it for Copley High School and Copley Band. Mm -hmm. I'm excited she'll keep doing music more in the future. Oh, she's she going is. somewhere where she's going to keep doing it. And she better because she is a wonderful musician. That's awesome. You must play music. I don't care if you don't go for music as your major, but that flute's going with you. And so she's going to a college where they do lots of music and she is going to be on the phone telling me all the groups she's in. And she's gonna be letting me know when their concerts are live streamed. So, all right, have a great evening. Uh, Libby will take you to your seats. Thank you. Yep. Hey, we have Kelly Peterson. How are you doing, Hi. Kelly? Good, come on in so we can see you. How do you feel tonight? I'm good, I'm excited, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any memories from band you'd like to share with everyone? Um, I think probably Chicago, all of Chicago was my favorite. I remember that was just a great trip from start to finish. It was an amazing trip. We were really lucky to have, that was a great time. So mom, anything you'd like to share about Kelly's accomplishments over the past eight years? Um, I'm just super proud of her for everything she's accomplished. We are too. She is a monster musician. So we hopefully you'll end up clinching a category you were nominated for. There were several. So, um, and you come away with a good evening. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. And I think we have a uh, James will be here to take you to your seats if he can not talk to the person. Yeah. So it's Bethel. Bethel, how are you doing tonight? How are you? Good. Good to see you. So, who are you wearing? Um, Macy's. Macy's, yes, right, because you got to keep it, yeah. right, just saying, right. So anything that you like to share, uh, memories about the band? I mean, you've had a big role in the band from field commanding to playing color guard. You've done a lot of different things. Any memories you like to share? 
Um, I think my best memory during March event was having to try out for <laughs> Field Commander twice in a row. And I think um, Kimara, Keith, and Heaven really like helped me to get better at Field Commanding. And then when I finally got it um, this year, it was really like a moment to remember, yeah. Yeah, we're really proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Any categories you were nominated for several that you hopefully will come away with tonight? I think uh, Queen of Encouragement, I think that's the one that I like. You, you like the sound of that yeah. the most. That's awesome. Well, you are definitely the queen of the band if you're not the queen of encouragement. Thank so you. thank you. We hopefully you have a great night tonight. And Libby will take you to your seat. All right, thank you. Yep. Hi, guys. Here we have Ryan Webb. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you, Ryan. How are you? I'm doing great. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Anything, any memories? You've been doing this for a long time. Any memories you like to share with everyone that you have a band that's really sticks out as something fun? Uh, Chicago was fun. Um, what's it called? The Ohio State trip was fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That was crazy. That was really, really good. Well, you've done a lot of uh, great things in the band. You've really, you know, showed a lot of dedication towards the band. Um, is there any categories you'd like to come away with? I mean, you were nominated for several tonight. Any categories you hopefully will clinch? Um, yeah, I'm probably the most dedicated one or, oh, I like band or whatever that one was. Yeah, yeah, yeah one of those ones. That's awesome. Well, I'm hopefully whatever you get, uh, you receive, you feel good about it. And I really appreciate all your hard work. Thank you. So James will take you to your seat. Thomas Sikas. How's it going, Thomas? Talking about Chicago.